What up, everybody? It's your boy Matt Dabs today, chilling, oil swagged up. I'm here at work, you know what I'm saying, at my regular job, but I'm still oil swagged out, you know what I'm saying. Got represent 24/7. Got rigs on rigs, on rigs, on rigs, baby. You know what I'm saying. We keep it keeping the G, no matter where we be. So, um, like I said, if you saw the video before, gave you a little preview review, uh, showed you all the strains. Um, I got a dunk ready over here, that White Widow Butter, and then I got a little small snake dab of that Black Crack Shatter. So, uh, I'm about to start torching up this nail, and um, let's get it going. Feel free, anybody, like I said in the comments. If you have any questions or anything like that, I'm not about withholding um, like information from people. I'm trying to be helpful, give out tips and tricks and stuff like that that help with them making the BHO. Um, just whatever kind of advice or info that you would like, hit me up, email me, leave a comment or whatever like that. I'll be happy to respond. So I'm going to go in first, pretty nice little dunk, white widow butter, hit me in. Chest expansion, catch it right here in the throat. <coughs> Definitely tastes like White Widow. If you've had White Widow, true White Widow before, so <coughs> what it tastes like. <coughs> small, small aftertaste. Can't really pinpoint what it is. Little, little bit of a burn, but it's boom. It's right to the face. Like <coughs> you can feel it instantly. It's definitely clean. Even for a dunk, it burned like real good on the nail. <coughs> highly educated nail. Keeping it, you know what I'm saying? Highly educated. <coughs> Shit, I'm ready for another one. Got this little black crack. Little snake dab right here ready to go. <coughs> it's not no big dab. It's not no Joe Globs. Fucking half gram. One gram snake dab. I ain't gonna do that just to try to prove stuff to anybody. It's just a waste. So, we do do that shit sometimes. I did one last night. I did about about a half a grammar myself with in between a dunk and a dab all together, but chilling out. <coughs> My boy Truff, Truff Dunks, just moved up here from Chicago. Kicking it over here with me in Michigan now. So we're definitely going to be doing big things, <coughs> doing a lot of runs, so you see me doing a lot more reviews. Once again, real clean. <coughs> Flavor's coming through a lot more than it even was last night. It's a freshly run batch of this Black Crack Shatter. <coughs> it's pretty good. Kind of has like a fruity taste to it. <coughs> Maybe like a mixed berry type of flavor <coughs> burning the throat just a little bit but it was real clean <coughs> I think some of those sativa strains they just bite they just bite right to the throat right to the face and you definitely feel them and you feel that sativa right away but um that's pretty good flavor was really nice on that one like I said like a mixed berry and the White Widow actually did taste like White Widow.
both of those were run from straight nugs so that's probably why the terps transferred over like they did but i just wanted to give you guys a review had it been up for a little while like i said hit me up i got a few more strains of review i got another little piece that i want to do a couple dabs and shit off of um yeah until next time guys oil life 710 Shout out to my boy Shu Wu out there, motherfucking uh, Chicago, right now on vacation in Puerto Rico, though. <clears throat> Shout out to Pure West, Lakeshore Compassion Club, as always. Chicago Made Crew, Hitman Glass, my boy Truffle Luffagus. If you haven't heard of him, hit him up. Facebook, know what I'm saying? Truff Life. Get these pins, Oil Life pins, everything. Just get with the swag, you know what I'm saying? Till next time, peace.